welcome back all of you to the next day's uh, program on uh, fusion uh, procurement implementation we are now copying the cpa fine the pr cpa spo combination now we are going to see the bpa br which is exactly replicated as we have in uh, ebis as such so we are going to see about how it has been implemented in ebis and then afterwards we will now come over here and then have a look at it now, fine. so let us now see how this bpa br fine has been uh, done in uh, ebis and then it has been modified as what bpa spo in this one so let me go inside and then share my screen now. So here, if you see the CPA SPO combination, fine. This has been enhanced and then with the enhancement and then what happens? It has been extended also to PR. So PR SP, CPR CPA SPO. Whereas here, this combination has been kept as such. Fine. If you see this combination, fine. The blanket purchase agreement and BR. Fine. There is no change at all. Fine. The functionality wise, what happens? They have kept everything as same. And then only thing is in the automation, they made a small change, but that's okay. Fine. That is how it is being going to be done. Fine. But it is not going to behave exactly like uh, as per the functionality of this automation is exactly what we know there. So we're going to see this. And then both of them are independent pairs. This pair and this pair, what happens? Even if you simultaneously set it up, what happens? Nothing will have no harm at all. In, uh, EBIS. And then all the three pairs are independent of each other in uh, uh, EBIS. And then here also, what happens? This pair and this pair are. Really Independent of each other, fine. They don't uh, what happens, uh, cross, crisscross with any of those things. Setups, no fine. Models. So now, now see the blanket purchase agreement and blanket lease and EBS. No fine, go there. So let me go and then make a purchase order now. Fine, go there. So click on purchase orders. <clears throat> so I'll now make a purchase order. It is J65 and then go tap the one. And then I'm not going to make it as a blanket purchase agreement. Drop it down and then make it as a blanket purchase agreement. Fine, not done. And then go there, go to the item. And then here, what happens? I'll not put an item. Fine. J65 and then percentage and then go tap. This is better enough. Fine, go there. I'm not putting it. Fine, go over there. Mm. Before I forget what happens, I'll tell you. Tomorrow, today evening, I'm now leaving for a Trinallar for a pilgrimage actually. So, tomorrow and after tomorrow, we'll not be having any class. Okay, fine. After this class, you'll be having a class only on uh, Saturday actually. Fine, only on Saturday, you'll be having a class. Fine. Okay. That is uh, uh, clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, only after, only on Saturday we'll be having class after because I'm now leaving for Tirunallur today, and then tomorrow and after tomorrow we'll not be having a class. I'll be uh, going to many temples actually, and then on Saturday only we'll be having the next class. I'm just remaining you. Fine, you know, you go there, go to the BPA. Fine, BPA is now done. Fine, go there, and then in the lines item, what happened? I'm not putting the item over here now. And then afterwards, whatever description, everything is coming, price is coming. So the BPA will not have the quantity, the PD as well as the NPD. Fine, it will not have anything at all. Fine. And then go there, you will not put the amount agreed over here now. Fine, thousand of the amount agreed, go there. It gets copied into terms. Fine, click on terms. So here what happens, whenever you are creating a BPA, what happens, it is advisable to have the dates. Fine, even though dates is mandate optional, but in the automation process, what happens, it is, it is, it is it, the system will not expect you to put the dates with it. Fine, for us. So here what happens, I will now uh, put what happens, the limit has been, uh, what happens, uh, brought over here now, fine. From thousand, it has come over here now, fine. So I will now make a change to 300 now, fine. Make it 300, over there. I'm not, I'm not 300. I'm not give it that. So it cannot be less than thousand. Fine. AL cannot be less than A. Fine. That is the standard one. So it has to be above that only. So what happens? I'll again put thousand over here now. Fine. It cannot be less than. Can be equal to or above. AL cannot be less than A. Fine. That is the one. And then I think uh, what happens there? What happens? Uh, AL cannot be set at all in future. You cannot set anything at all. You have to set everything only an amount agreed. So nicely done. So that you won't fiddle around with this one. And I will not say what happens. The supplier has not given a limit. What happens? The MR. The MR is apl applicable only in a BPA, whereas in a, what happens? The MR is applicable on a CPA also in fusion. In fusion, we can even have the MR applicable in, fusion, in the CPA also. Fine. That is a good extension. Fine. There is a the needed extension actually. Fine. Because supplier, supplier may be giving you a, what happens? The restriction. So he has now given a minimum release of fifty dollars. That means what? Every BR which is going to follow must be at least for fifty dollars. Fine. That is one restriction. And then here it has got one more low limit now. This is on the high limit. Fine. All cumulative BRs cannot exceed the amount limit. Fine. That is what is the high limit. And then what happens is the low limit given by the supplier. This is a limit given by the company actually. All cumulative BRs cannot exceed the amount limit of its BP actually. Fine. Close it now. And then here what happens? It has got one more low limit. Fine. Go there. If you go to the agreement, what happens? The supplier is saying that what happens? If you go for what happens first line, it must be at least for ten dollars. There are two columns, quantity agreed and amount agreed. Fine. They are only for information purposes. So in Fusion also, the quantity agreed and amount agreed, and then the quantity released and amount released are only for information purposes in Fusion also. 
here also what happens it is only for information purposes you will have idea about how much is now agreed upon with it and then against which how much has been released you can have a look at it now. fine it doesn't have any functional control so in fusion also what happens these two fields do not have any functional control at all fine so he is not saying this is not fine go there and then what happens we go to the terms now fine click on the uh, price breaks now price breaks can be given now fine click on the price breaks and then click on it and then here what happens if you buy more than 10 fine go there you will not give a 10 percent discount fine down arrow and then if you buy for more than 20 or uh, 200 now fine go there and then he's going to give a 20 percent discount fine down arrow and then if you buy more than 300 what happens he's going to give a 30 percent discount so price breaks are very much possible fine contrast commit and here what happens there's a concept called cumulative you know fine go there if you go to the agreement there's a cumulative price in a cumulative pricing what happens the the, the dukandar is saying that what happens if you buy two pants what happens you'll not get one shirt free fine you go and tell him sir last diwali i purchased one pant now if i purchase one pant will you give a shirt free or not he will not say pora bunga he will not give you so if such a thing is given what happens that means what he is now honoring your previous purchases because some some shops what happens they'll be having a book in which what happens all your prior purchases are written over there once when the cumulative purchases exceed 5000 rupees what happens they will not give a dawara <coughs> tumbler and then spoon something something they will not give us a free gift actually they are all very low end value but what happens people will be more attracted towards the gifts basically so what happens likewise what happens if he, if the supplier is no uh, what happens considering your previous purchases against every slab let us say for 90 for if you buy more than 100 you'll be getting a 10 percent discount if you go on then buy 90 you won't get any discount at all but first time you purchase 90 and the next day you go and then buy 10 for the 10 quantity itself you will not get the discount of 10 percent this is called cumulative pricing if cumulative pricing is enabled what happens the prior purchases are cumulated and then it, you will not decide on which slab your uh, particular uh, purchase is now there right? the slab will be automatically decided based upon the cumulative pricing so if you buy 90 first what happens you will be getting no discount and if you cumulative pricing is enabled on the next purchase if you go and then buy 10 itself what happens you will get that 10 percent discount not because you are now come and then you have fulfilled this slab and then afterwards what happens whenever you buy anything you'll be getting and then when you cross this slab what happens you'll be getting this so for each and everything what happens after over a period of time what happens you would have crossed 300 quantities so what happens you'll be getting a 30 percent discount even for one item even if you buy one item what happens you'll be getting a 30 percent discount so that is what's called community pricing to achieve this what happens you have to prove that you are a very regular customer and a very loyal customer and you're going to make a payment immediately say it is a immediate or 50 days payment or something like that so once when you are achieving those functionalities then only he will not allow this community so if a purchase officer is uh, what happens uh, getting this community pricing on the purchase order it is a credit to him even the cr fine confidential report what happens it will be having impact on this one You'll, promotions, increments, everything will be basically decided upon this now. This is a credit to the purchase officer if community pricing is enabled on this now. Every supplier will not agree for it. Fine. Only certain suppliers will agree. For which what happens, he has to put a lot of uh, what happens, effort on this. You go there and then given this. And then go for the second item also. I will not go there. And then the line level, what happens, I will not go for the second item. Fine. I will not say J10. And then tag it. Fine. I will not put the item over here now. Fine. Oh God. Fine. I will not see this. I will not do this. Now. Fine. I will not use some other thing. Fine. So anyway, percentage is 0, 4. Dollars. You go there, and then he is not having a price of ten now. dollars. So I am not having a second line. In this, what happens? Second line, what happens? He is now giving a limit of twenty. Now. So apart from that terms level limit of fifty dollars for each and every BR. Fine, every BR have to have a fifty dollar limit. We have a line level limits also. The first line, if you are ordering on your BR, what happens? It must be at least for ten dollars. And then if you are ordering for the second line in the BR, what happens? It must be at least for twenty dollars. So these are all the line level limits. Fine. So we have one terms level limit and then one line level limit. So there are two limits are there. Fine. Line level means so every line can have an all other limit also. So there are two low limits and then one high limit. So in EBS, in the fusion also we have the same concept. We have one high limit and then two low limits. Fine. So one low, one low limit is there in the terms button and then one is on the line level. Fine. MR on the lines. Fine. So is all that. So fusion is also having the same concept. There is no change at all. The concepts are same. Fine. Go there. And then what happens? You know, completed. Fine. Commit. And then the B, the what happens? The blanket purchase agreement is now created. Fine, it has got two lines now. Fine, so first line uh, having this. The similar thing is what the quantity PD and NBD will be grayed out. Fine, because it will be having only price breaks. So we are now discuss discuss with the supplier for a what the price breaks are basically what org location specific. Only when you give this org location, what happens? You'll be getting this numbers and this one. Otherwise, what happens? It is not applicable. Or otherwise, for each and every combination of org and location, what happens? We have to have a price break. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? It will not be honored as such. Now, fine, close it now. And then let me approve it. 6652, I am going to approve it now. Fine. Okay, and then I approve it. 
So the BP is now pro. Fine. Now what happens against which I'm not going to create a BR now. Fine. Go there. Go to the window and then go to the navigator now. And go to the tools and then remove the closes of the forms so that multiple forms can be open. Now what happens? You go to the purchase orders and then go to the releases. Fine. Releases. This is the navigation now. So in this version of I am now working on 12.2.6 now. If you see my version is 12.2.6. Here what happens? The purchase orders come in the bottom actually. So I am now working on 12.2.6 actually. Okay. So I go to the releases now. Fine. Go there. 6652 is the one. I go there. I will not refer it now. So 6652 and then give a tap. So for which what happens, I'm not going to get the first release now. Release number one, I'm going to create now. <coughs> I'm not creating a release number one. Fine, go there. And then click on it and then I will not give line number one now. Line number one, I go there. It is M1 here. What happens, I go there. I will not give only one quantity. Fine. If I try to commit, it will not commit at all. Because what happens, your purchase order must have a shipment. Now. Your shipment needs what? Or your location, your quantity, as well as dates. One of the data is mandatory, either the PD or in fine. But this is not created fine calculus commission. You don't say, hey, come on, you're not given this one. So either a PD or a NBD is required for a planned item. Fine, what I'm saying. So what happens? A shipment will be complete only when you give all the four now. Fine. Only when you give all the four, like what happens? Organization, location, quantity, and then one of the dates. So go there and then give a date. Fine. Fine. Now what happens when I submit for approval? Uh, so here we have given this many limits now you can see on the on the what happens if you see in the PO what happens if you click on the terms what happens every every purchase or every BR must be at least for $50 that is one limit and then here what happens in the line level if you are ordering for the first line it must be at least for $20 $10 and then if you are ordering for $20 to the second line it must be at least for $20 so the two low limits will come into which channel go there if you click on approval what happens you now see the document total is one the line total is also one so both the errors will come now I click on approval be getting both errors. Fine. You can see the MR coming up now. The MR is not coming up. Fine. Go there. And then the ten dollar limit is also coming. So there are two errors there. Fine. Fine. Now if you go there, I will now add one more line to this now. Fine. Go there. Click on this now. I will now go for a second line. Second line. And then go there. I will now go for let's say point. Uh, what happens there? Uh, uh, let's say one quantity. Fine. Go there. And then can't play enter. Fine. Coming. So second line is also added now. Fine. I'm now adding the second line. Now tell me how many errors are there. Previously, what happens? We are having two errors now. Now, how many errors will be there if I click on the approval? Anybody? <clears throat> so, in this place, what happens? We have what? Line level one limit of ten dollars, and then line level two of twenty dollars. So, when I go on the click on approval, how many errors will be coming now? Anybody? Previously, we are having two errors now. Now, how many errors will come now? I have added the second line also. Are you understanding it? Anybody can tell me. How many errors will be coming if I click on approval? Three, three. Three. What are they? For the two lines and the one, the total amount. Exactly, exactly. There will be three errors. Now, fine, click on approve. Fine. What happens? One for the total amount. Now, fine. One for the MR in the agreement button. And then one for the $10 and then one for the $20. Fine. There will be three errors. Fine. Let's click on it. Now, what happens? I'm going to add one more line. Fine. Go there. I will now say line number two. Fine. And then go there. I will now add one more line. Fine. It is a little bit, uh, what happens? I will not say one quantity only. This is also one quantity on different date now, basically. Fine. Different dates. Fine. Now, how many errors will be there now? So, previously, what happens? This is also less than 10. This is also less than 10 now. Fine. How many errors will be there now? Three. Three is wrong now. Previously, it was three. From here, what happens? It was three. Now, I have added one more line. That is also less than $20. There's $20. How many errors will be there now? Two. Two is hundred percent correct now. Fine. How how is two now? Yeah. What happens for every line? What happens? It will now sum up now. Fine. Line two is there. Line two is there. What happens? It will now sum up everything and then compare against the price. Line two. What happens? We have one for ten and then one for ten. Put together is twenty and so it is matching and so what happens? There will be only two errors now. This error will not come at all. Twenty dollar error will not come. What happens? What happens? Fine. I will now mute your mics because your mics is now giving a lot of noise now. Fine. Mute all. Okay. So that's okay. Fine. Good. So only two errors are coming because what happens? This and this put together cumulatively. What happens for line two? It is now meeting twenty dollars and so what happens? You, want to error. you go there. If you go for eleven and then give a tap and then commit it, there will be only one error because what happens? This is the only error. Fine. What happens? We have line level error is not there. MR on the terms button is only giving the error. Fine. Only is on terms button. Then go there. And then click on what happens for 51 now. Now, what happens? There won't be any errors at all. And click on commit. What happens? You'll not be having any errors now. Fine. Click on approve now. So, what happens? We have now tested the what? 
MR on the what's called MR on the uh, terms button as well as MR on the lines region. Everything has been tested now. Go there, click on approve. It will be going for approval, and then click on OK. It will be getting approved. So six six five two iPhone one is a BR which is not getting approved. <laughs> Fine, over us. Now we will not test the high level now. Fine, we will not go on and test the high level now. Fine, go there. So we will test the high level. So I will now make one more one. If you click on the agreement button, if you click on the agreement button, here what happens? It will not show you the total amount which has been released. Now, fine, click on it. You know, say how much has been released. And then it will now indicate to you the MR, the terms button MR, and then the AL now. MR and AL, the terms button will be listed on the agreement. If you go there on the, on the agreement page, if you go there and see this now, this place. What happens if you go there and see this now? Fine. If you click on the agreement, what happens? You cannot see the MR as well as the AL on the agreement button. On the agreement will not show, but not the line level limits. The line level limits of 10 and 20 will not be shown. Fine. Overall document, what happens? It will not show you these things. Now, cumulatively, what happens? We can now go up to thousand dollars. Fine. The 71 has been released. So if you go for higher amount, what happens? It will not be going down. You go there. Control down arrow. <coughs> Here, what happens? You go there. Six six five two. I think you have second release is now getting made now. Fine. Go there. And then click on this number, line number. And then here, what happens? Line number is one. And then go for that. And then here, what happens? I will not say what happens around uh, nine or uh, 1300 now. Because what happens? This is now go and then enjoy the discount of this thing. Fine, go there. So, nine, 1400 now. I will not make 1400. What happens? 980. 980 plus 70, what happens? It will be giving a problem. The high level limit will be giving a problem. And so, what happens? It will not go for approval now. And click on the approval. What happens? It will not go for approval. So, the agreement amount limit. And the AL is now coming in the picture now. Previously, what happens is the minimum release was coming in. Now, agreement amount limit is now coming in the picture. So, what happens if you make it less, what happens if you won't be having any, any problem at all. So, you know, go there. I will not make it as 1200. Fine, give it up. Now, what happens? 840 plus 71 is okay. I click on approve. What happens? You cannot see that you will be getting approved. Now. Click on okay, you will be getting approved. And then the total, what happens if you click on the agreement? What happens? It knows it's totally 911 has been released. So, MR, these two things are coming. Fine, go there. So this is how the BPA BR combination works, and then there also it works exactly like this one. In uh, Fusion also, what happens is working exactly like this one. Fine, go there, and then here what happens? We go there and then close it now. Fine, go there, close it, and then here if I requery this now, fine, close it and then requery it now. Fine, go there, six six five two. I'm going to requery it now. Fine, go there, paste it over here. Fine, read. so you can now see this now. Fine. Not if you go to the uh, agreement type, then he not say what happens. The total release quantity is one thousand two hundred fifty one. The total release amount is this much. Or the line is one. Right. So we have uh, we have um, uh, practically agreed upon some quantity and some amount, and then we can even make a comparison about against this how much has been used. Now. It doesn't have any, any functional control at all. The quantity agreed, amount agreed, and then the quantity release, amount release do not have any functional control. It is only for indication purposes, and then it is no indicating. Anything. Got it now? Right? So this is how the BPA BR works in uh, what happens in EBS now. Any doubts on this? Good that you understood it fine, fine. You'll now go for automation now. Yeah. Anybody has got any doubts? Okay. Now we'll now go for automation now. Fine. So for automating it, what happens? The terms button, I will now go and then remove this now. Fine. The amount limit, AL and MR. So that what happens? It will not cause any problem at all. And then go there, commit. And then the line level limits also I will now remove and then show in automation. In reality, what happens? It will be as see, this is a limit given by the company, and then this is a limit given by the supplier. And then here also what happens, this will be the limit given by the supplier actually. So for automation purposes, what happens to demonstrate it, what happens removing it. So we have to honor the supplier's uh, requirement basically. But uh, what happens for demonstration purposes, I'm removing it. So what happens, it requires a reapproval. And click on approve now. Go on and on. So to automate it, what happens, uh, we have a process here. We'll now go there. I'll now show you here. Fine. Automatic document creation. The, go to the automatic documentation on your uh, document and double click on it, open it up now. So, to automate it, what happens? We have one uh, thing called what happens? This is the one. Fine. There are three types of automations are there one is the blanket one, one is the big quote one, and then one is the contract one. Now, what happens? Only one has come in future. Now. Fine. This is the only thing which is available now as of now. This is the only thing. So, here what happens? We have to make a SR and ASR, ASL and BP. So, if you make all the four, what happens? As soon as the approved purchase requisition comes and then hits this ADZ, what happens? Upon running the create list program, what happens? You'll be getting a BR coming out of it. Fine, no so this is how this is going to work now. The blanket one. So let us set the four components of the ADZ: SR, ASR, ASL, BP. Fine, go there. We will now go on and set it up. Fine, go there. So six six five two is a one. Remember, fine. It's approved. It is not having any limits. We are removing the limits only for testing purposes now. But in reality, it will be there as such now. Fine, go there. Close it. Now. So we will now go on and make the SR. Fine, 
go there go to the supply base and then go to the sourcing tools the navigation so we are now going to make a sourcing tool double click on it now and then here what happens i'll make a sourcing tool 65 underscore sr1 thank you tab and then it is for all logs basically and then click on the from date and then here type is buy from and then go there supplier is j65 and then percentage and then give it tab and then site is control l and then go for 100% and then one commit yes sir is no way in fusion we cannot make this sr unless otherwise you have the value chain planning license it has all been shifted to planning actually and so what happens only when you have that license you'll be able to create a sr yes sir cannot be created in fusion if you don't have the license of vcp vcp license is a must otherwise this uh, system is not having it now and so what happens i will not be able to create this sr now so we need that license fine close it now and then afterwards what happens you go to the assign sourcing rules double click on it so in the assign sourcing rules i will be having one thing called supplier scheduling now fine what else so this is assign sourcing rules supplier scheduling fine go there So we are going to create the fine. Here, what happens? I am going to make an entry now. Fine, control down arrow. I will now make an entry at the item level now. An item level, I am going to make an entry. Here, what happens? This is what J sixty five percentage. Then I give it up. This is the item now. Fine. Uh, uh, what is the item? I have kept only J sixty five as an item. Huh? I am sure. One second. I am going to go on and have a look at it now. Fine. Go to the navigator now. I will now open up this uh, purchase orders and then control F one. <clears throat> Six six five two will be coming. The latest purchase order will be coming when we are giving a requiry now. Six six five two is coming. Fine, GMT. This is fast. Take a moment. Fine, go there. So you go there. Go to the sourcing tools. Go to go to this place. Go there. And then here, what I must shift F five and then go there. I will now put my J sixty five percentage and then give a back tab. What is it? I have given the sir percentage. Fine. What I have given sixty five underscore S R one. I have given a sixty five underscore S R one. Now fine. Okay. And then come in. So once when you have a sourcing rule in place, so this sourcing rule is pointing to a supplier, and then the item is pointing to a sourcing rule. So item supplier relationship gets established. The item supplier relationship gets established, and so what happens? We are going to test it now. So we made an entry of this now. Item, uh, this item is now pointing to a sourcing rule. The sourcing rule is pointing to a supplier, and so what happens? Item supplier relationship is established. We are going to make a check of it now. Go there. You open the requisition. So the moment you put the item over here, now fine. J sixty five percent is an answer item. You put it. You cannot see what happens. It has got a blanket agreement. No saying. And then the supplier is not coming. And then the source document. What happens? You will be getting this BP number also. So for getting these two informations on your requisition, what happens? You must have the SR and ASR set. For which what happens? We have the VCP license required in fusion. If that is not there, what happens? You only have to manually populate this number. The moment you put the number, the supplier inside will be coming on requisition. Right? Because it's not automatically getting populated. But if you have the license, you can very well configure SR and ASR. And so what happens? As soon as you put the item over here on the requisition form, what happens? You'll be getting the supplier getting populated. The source details also will be coming automatically over here. So this I am not going to do it manually. But when you learn VCP, what happens when the instance is having that license? Then what happens? It will all be totally automatic. And go there. Then afterwards, what happens? You go there, and then we will now create what one ASL now. Right? Go to the supply base, and then what happens? You go to the approved supply list, put number three on it, and then here what happens? I will now put the item over here. Right? J sixty five percentage, and then we add. So I will now put the asset item over here, and then click on the supplier J sixty five percentage. Right? J sixty five percentage and then give it up, and then site is this one, and then make it as approved now. Fine, what is the record it is? And then global as yes now. Fine, commit. Fine, what else? And then click on the other attributes now. Fine, keep your cursor. If you are keeping a cursor on the top, what happens? You won't be having anything. Fine, and then here, if you are keeping it in this place, what happens? Click on the attributes, and then here, what happens? You can now see this now. There are three types of ADCs that are available here. Automatic documentation. There are three types now. Only only BPS come. The remaining are it to come now. Fine, go there. And then click on it. And then the number. What happens? You are going to put the number now. Fine, go there. Line number is one, and then here what happens? Release mother, I'm going to make it as automatic release. Fine, automatic release. Fine. By which what happens? We'll be creating it now. So in fusion also we are having almost a similar ASL setup now, but not to this extent now. Fine. The power of uh, EBS is not come now. So if you go there and then close it now. So ASL BPS setup. Fine. It is almost similar to what we have in, but the full power of uh, EBS is not come now. Fine. It has got plenty of things are there. Fine. With the profile also you can control so many things now. Fine. It is not fully set now. So we are not completed what. Uh, Setting up this ADC, you know, SR, ASR, ASL. Now, once when a requisition is approved, what happens? If you go on, then what happens? It will not hit the ADC, and then once when you run the create list program, what happens? Automatically, the purchase order blanket list will be out. And what else? You go there and then close it. 
<coughs> so we'll not do this now and go there. So ASL BP is now complete. So let us go there and then now, now what happens? We are now going to create what happens here. Yeah, requisition. Now. And click on the requisition. Let me get the requisition now. So requisition will be for what? It is J65 percentage on your tab. Right. It is other item. I go there. The message is coming, a warning message is coming. So I accept it. And then go for that. And then here what happens? I'll now go for the one not one monitors. And then go there, and then the need be date. I'm going to give it now. Fine, go there. I need it on this date now. Fine, what else? So go there, and then here, I'm going to say uh, uh, 23. Fine. So if you give the timing as this one, if you say what happened, the timing is very sensitive now. Fine, it must be after the today's time. So this is now given now. Fine. So the need be date has been given now. Fine, what else? 23. And then what happens if you see the discount is not coming because the discounts are basically org location specific. The org, what happens? I go there and put it now. Fine. Seattle manufacturing and then location is M1. So if you give it, then the discount will come. <coughs> and remember, requisition will be comparing against each and every small break, breaks within the time. Or not, it will not be cumulative as such. It will not be cumulative. So you know, given. But re really, what happens is we are now crossed the point 30% discount also. So you'll be getting 30% discount on this requisition because we already crossed it. My, my, my total release is what? You cannot see on the on the purchase order. Fine, go there. You go to the purchase orders. Here, what happens if you see the total release, it has now crossed this actually. So here, what happens? We cannot see how much has been released. Really, you can see here now an agreement between what happens. The total lease has now crossed 891. So that means what? We already crossed the limits. Now fine, go to the price breaks. And then here, what happens? We already crossed all the quantities basically. Fine, every quantity is now crossed. And so what happens? We'll be eligible for a what's called a yeah, 30 percent discount even on this one. But requisition will be comparing against each and every individual only. Fine, go there. The requisitions are compared against each and every individual only. So 100 means what? You won't be showing your 30 percent discount. It will not compare against each and every price click and then give it now. But on the release, you'll be getting the 30% discount. Right? Commit. And then what happens? So 15915 is there. And let me take a copy of it and then click on approve. So I'll now go on and approve it. Okay now. <clears throat> it is now vanished now. So you go there, go to the requisition summary and then have a look at it now. Fine. Go to the requisition summary and then query for the requisition now. You paste it over here and then give it a tab. And then click on find now. So once when you query it, here what happens? It will not show you. Fine. It is approved. And then go to the tools and then view approval through workflow. Fine tools view approval through workflow. If you go on and view it now, it will not show you how much it has progressed on the workflow. Actually. So, anyways, what happens? We have the workflow monitoring, and then there, here, what happens? It is also there, but in a different direction. Basically, you won't be able to see such thing, but it is a Java enabled one. Basically, ADF, sorry, ADF is the technology by which what happens? They are now doing this now, but the technical can do also like this. What happens? You can now see they're now gone, gone, gone. They're now going over there, going over there, going over there, going over there, going over there. Going over there. Here, what happens? It is not waiting for the background process to complete. Fine. Now, the moment you run the create release, what happens? It will be creating a release and then it will launch. And then it goes there, not waiting for the background. Basically. So now let us go and then run the create release program. So you go there, close it now. So this one. <coughs> so you go there and then close it. And then now what happens? We will now open up the requisition summary, the purchase order summary for 6652. So 6652. And then give it a tap. View the releases also. Click on the view releases and then click on find now. So once when you find it out, there are two releases there. Now let us run the create release program. So once when an approved requisition comes and then hits this ADZ, and upon running the create release program, what happens? A BR gets created. Fine. Let us run the create release. Fine. Go there. They will not run the create release. Close it now. So alt BR, alt enter. They will not run the create release. Now. <coughs> so it's a create release program. So create release program. And click on submit now. So we go and then submit it. Fine. Go there. <coughs> Click on find now is not ready. So once when this is completed, what happens? You can now see a BR coming out of this now automatically. <coughs> the third BR for one not one quantities, requisition was saying a point nine price here. What happens? You'll be getting a what? Price of 0.7 now. 30% is going to be available. So you go there, take a copy of it, and then make a query on this place now. Fine. Go there, query it, go there, query it. The third release is out. And then click on open, and then here what happens? You can now see the price will be 0 0.7 because we already crossed the slab because cumulative pricing is enabled. And so what happens? Like that. This completes the automation. Fine. In the automation process, what happens? We have to run the trade list. In Fusion, no need to run this concurrent at all. As soon as the approved purchase requisition, what happens is no done. And then once when this entire setup is done, along with one more setup, there is one more setup is required apart from SRA, SRA, SLBPA. And then once when you do all the setups, what happens? The BR or the SPO will be coming out automatically. Fine, no need to do anything. Fine, there is one more setup which is required. And then if you do it, what happens? There is no such create release concurrent program in Fusion at all. Fine. Once when the requisition comes and then hits this ADC, what happens? The BR or the SPO will be out with one more setup actually. Is it clear in EBIS? Not fine. 
this is automation process any doubts on this one since uh, most of you knows ebis very well so you may be knowing this point the how bala clear yes sir yes sir good now here what happens uh, there are there is one more setup which is required in fusion now fine that is not required in ebis as such fine if you go there you go to set up organization and then go to purchasing options in the purchasing options what happens there it is a configure procurement business function here what happens there is a buyer which is there fine there is a buyer there is a buyer setup fine so this is only when you put it what happens then only what happens the system will now create what happens this spo automatically apart from the sra sra as will be set up we have to populate the buyer on the configure procurement business function here it is purchasing options but in ebis only one such a, a business process needs a buyer anybody knows it which business process needs the buyer there is one business process which needs the buyer at the what happens at your at this level fine at this purchasing options level or at the item level item is also having a default buyer i'll not go on and show you item also needs the default buyer and go there i will not go to items master items if i open it up fine if you go there here what happens the purchasing there will be a default buyer so we have to specify item specific buyers or common buyer for all fine that there is only one business process which needs this one which one it is nebus anybody apart from that for automation purposes we don't need a buyer fine now what happens that business process is yet to come in fusion anybody which business process needs a buyer information on the what happens your purchasing options okay i'll tell you it's a vmi so if you have a vendor managed inventory vendor managed inventory will not work if buyer is absent it has to be present either on the purchasing options or on the item level fine. item player yeah that will come fine now what happens vmi is not at come and so what happens they have no integrated it along with the automation process fine here what happens automation process you have to specify the buyer either on the configure requisitioning bus functions or otherwise on the item so then only what happens this automation will work and then it does not need any concurrent now got it now you go there and see now so we'll go to jump into fusion and then see what how to set it up now fine what is let us go there and then jump into fusion and then see this now fine go there and then let me go there and then log in now fine go there <coughs> i'm now logging so we'll now create a bpa now we're now going to create a bpa and go there it is j65 underscore emt1 do it and then we'll now log in and then let us now go and then create a bpa now so you're going to get a bpa fine go there click on the procurement icon some of them i'm going to leave it as a lab exercise so that what happens once when you do it will be under understand everything i'm not going to do as such now fine some of them will be a lab exercise for you click on it so you try this and then if you have any doubt you can just uh, come and tell me fine. click on the purchasing now let me make a big bp now <coughs> go there click on it and then here what happens you click on what happens create agreement click on create agreement if you click on the create agreement <coughs> what happens you put the supplier over here j65 and then you know populate the supplier over here now. and supplier is not getting populated and go there and then here what happens you click on create So go for that now. Fine. Here, whatever. I'll not put amount agreed. Fine. Amount limit is absent actually. Fine. Remember, amount limit is absent as in CP. CP also what happens? We cannot see the amount limit at all. In the terms button, we cannot see the amount limit at all. Fine. What else? The MR in the terms button. Fine. There's a lab access for you. Fine. In the terms button or in the header level. Fine. MR. There's a lab a lab access for you. You put the MR and then make a check of it. Now I will now show you this limit now. I will now demonstrate this limit. This is a lab access for you. Fine. You put a limit and then see how it's functioning. Now. You go there. I will now add that. I'm fine. Click on plus and then I'm going to add the item on this. And then plus, and then let me add an item. Find it is J65, and then item one. I'm going to put it. Now. So let me add an item. I go there, and then I'm putting the item one over here now. I go there. It will not have any quantity. It will not have any PD. It will not have any NBD. Find what is PD and NBD are absent here. Find what is it's not done. So only this much will be there. Find go there, and then afterwards what happens? You go to the controls. Find go to the controls. Find click on the controls, and then leave alone all the controls actually. Find what is leave alone all the controls. The retractive pricing I will not commit. Come back a bit late now. Find not now. I'm now disabling it. I'll be coming a bit late now. My orders. So leave the uh, choices as such. Now my orders. You go there. Retractive pricing was very nicely done in Ebus. 
but what happened the full functionality has not been brought over here and that is i don't understand why they are bringing partial functionality and this partial functionality is meaningless when kapati ebus ebus has got a excellent function so many things are it to come they are saying they are coming 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 fine that is not a correct purpose now what about this is the defaults what happens you leave it as a chunk and go there and then now what happens you go on the same and submit 3001 is a bpa now 3001 is a bpa and then here what happens in the place i am not giving only one limit now i have done only one limit i will ask the one so i will now go to the line level and then give you the limits also fine i will not show you fine you you select the line and then edit now you select the line and then click on edit now select the line and then click on edit and then here what happens you have a line level limit also 10 and 20 i gave na no? fine mr on the lines level there is all the lab access one mr on the terms button as well as mr on the lines level what happens everything is a lab access amount agreed fine agreement amount and agreement quantity are all only for information purposes just like what we have in ebus no? fine in ebus also what happens they are all what happens only uh, information purposes if you go there here what happens this amount agreed quantity agreed and amount agreed are information purposes against which how much you are release you can only make a comparison they don't have any functionality so here also what happens if you see what happens amount agreed agreement amount and agreement quantity is only for information purposes it does not have any functionality as such i go there i go there and then here what happens i will now add one price break and click on it and then here also what happens is all org location specific na organization is what j5 j651 and then you tap and then the location is this location i go there j65 underscore lock underscore is the one i am going to give it now so j65 lock underscore and then if you give a tab it will showing you the locations by the way come on it has to show me so you click on this magnify icon on the right i go there j65 and then enter some of the things when it is off entered it will be showing but some of them it doesn't show at all i go there we have to go and do it now i am not done i go there quantity if you buy more than 100 what happens i am not going to give a 25% discount only one discount level i am going to have it now. fine here cumulative pricing is exactly same like this no fine if you have cumulative or non cumulative it is exactly same fine the prior purchases are cumulated that's also a lab exercise you create multiple levels of discounts and then check for the cumulative fine i am not giving only one level fine what else so what happens if you go for more than 100 quantities i will be getting a price of is of 1.5 it will be 1.125 only The original price was 1.5, and then if you will now get a 25 percent, then 1.125 is the new price if you are buying more than 100. And only one level I am now giving you. Cumulation is a lab exercise, and then MR and the lines button is a lab exercise. MR and the terms button is a lab exercise. Fine, do each and everything. Click on OK, and then here whatever I am going to approve. Click on OK, click on submit. <sighs> so go there, it's now submitted. Fine, go there, click on OK. So it's now complete. Now what happens? You go and then make the ASL entry now. here what happens sr and asr i cannot do it in this instance now because what about this instance is not having the bc bcp license and so sr and asr can be done only when you have the bcp license if the bcp license is not there we cannot do it now. so now what about i will now do the asl bp entry it is almost similar to what we have in uh, what happens ebus but with the reduced functionality with the reduced functionality we go there you click on this icon and then go to the asr and click on this asr and what happens you go there and then we know Go, what happens? Manage approved supply list entries. Against the supply base, we have the ASL now. Fine. So there also we can against supply base only we are having it. So supply base and then manage approved supply list entries and then let me add it. Now. So click on plus icon now. Fine. Click on the plus icon. There is a create icon there. Fine. Click on plus icon. So once when you click on the plus icon, remember this plus icon will come only when you have the procurement manager role. If the procurement manager role is not there. It will not be coming. Fine. Go there. Supply is what J sixty five and then give it up. is almost similar to what we have fine status is what approved fine go there make the status is approved and then here bottom you come there fine supply side also you find control l uh, can not control control drop down and then choose it now Let's choose it now fine supplier and side we have chosen now status is approved now fine go there and then here what happens in the global document what happens you go on an action add now so we had to save it now fine at this time the plus is not coming because we had to save it now so only when you save it what happens the plus will come for oh, the item is not given that is the reason And J65 and give it up. I do put the item also. So the put up the moon of the moon will put the J65. Hey, what is it? J65 as an item, na? Okay, this is not as an item. It's only item, item one. So we are not made as as an item. The item one. So the moment you put the item, what happens? The plus symbol will be coming over here. Now, you don't need to save as a chunk. The plus will be coming only when the item is present on the table. Item is not present. Now the plus is coming. Click on the plus now. Now what happens? You go there. Agreement number is three thousand one now. And then give it up. and then agreement line is one now that is getting automatically populated and that's it fine in the evs what happens we have three levels of automation now fine if you go there you click on the navigator and then here what happens you go to the supply base and then go to the approved supply list fine you go to the asl now approved supply list and then query for this item now go there it is j65 percentage query 
what happens? We have the status as approved, fine. This is available. The attributes, what happens? We have three levels of fine. Now only one level is available. And then the release method is also there, fine. So in this combination is going to work now. Okay, what happens? There is no such release method here now, fine. So we have the status as approved to the top, fine. That is there. Item is there. Supply site is there. And then at the bottom, what happens? We are now adding this. This has got a supplier item attributes has got a, some reduced functionality. When you make the global source agreement, it's more than sufficient. So ASL BPA entry is now complete, but with a reduced functionality. Click on save and close. Now we go on and create a requisition. Fine, we go on and create a requisition. Normally here, what happens again? What happens? It uh, begins with uh, what happens? A requisition. Now fine, go to the purchase requisition. And then here, we're going to do it. Now go on and do it. <coughs> here, what happens? You click on the requisition line entry. Now, automation is not complete in Fusion now. Fine. Now, what happens? What we have done is uh, here, if you see, what happens? ASL BPA entry we have made. Of course, SRA ASR is not there because of which what happens if you go there. Since it is not there, if you go and then populate my item over here now, fine. the supplier and agreement numbers will not be coming on. But if you have the SR and ASR set, what happens? It will now automatically become a BPA. The agreement number, supply side, everything will come. Here, what happens? We have to make it now. Go there and then make it manual and then put on this 3001. Since I am unable to set because I don't have a VCP license in this place, VCP license is required for automatic population of what happened the agreement type, agreement number, supplier and site, etc. etc. Okay, so you go there and now go for 20 quantities. Now, fine, go there, click on 20 quantities. And then now, what happens? I will now add to the requisition. So, here, what happens? ASL BPA, but this is not sufficient for an automation. There, here, there is no concurrent at all, like pre release. But what happens? The buyer information is required either on the what's called configure procurement business function or on the item. If you don't specify the buyer, both the places automation will fail. Now, fine, you want to see go there. So click on active requisition. Fine, I'm now giving everything. Fine, the everything is coming. Click on active requisition. Now. So it's now referenced with the 3001. You go there, click on edit and submit. And then here, what happens? <clears throat> if you go on and submit, it will be getting approved. Now. I hope that nobody has modified it now. Anybody has modified it, now go on and click on the manage approvals and make a check whether it is there. Single level approval or some other level approvals. <coughs> okay, fine. Somebody is not done with the J68 parallel. They are testing it now. Fine. Let me go on then disable this now. Fine. Go there. Let me disable it now. Go to Control T. Fine. Sorry. Uh, and then here, what happens? Go there. Let me disable that now. So whenever it's not working, please go on then make a check of it now. Fine. Parallel is working. Serial is still not working. I don't know what exactly is the problem. Somebody might have kept a hand somewhere else. No. This problem. So you go there. I will now go to manage requisition approvals. Manage percentage. Manage percentage. Rec percentage. Approval percentage. And then entry. Go there. And then I will now bypass it now. Go there. So this is now enabled. I will now disable it now. I will disable this. The parallel disable it. So here, what happens? I have now put on the header hierarchy serial. In this one, I think we made one thing enabled now. The header hierarchy three. We have an automatic approval, I think. Fine. I will see whether it is there or not. And enable it. Fine. Keep your cursor on this place and then click on edit rules. You know, see whether it automatic is there or not. Oh, what happens? Get a hierarchy three, it has to go now. Get a hierarchy three, it has gone now. I go there. We have one automatic approval. Now. I go there. Rule always applies there. And then if you go there and see in the bottom, it's automatic approval. Fine. So we have this rule now. Fine, go there. So header hierarchy three has got uh, what happens? One automatic approval. And go there. And then let me enable the rule now. Fine. Click on enable rule. Header hierarchy three. I'm enabling it now. It takes some time. To, and then here, what happens? Go on the disable. Fine. Go on the disable. So it's not disabled. No need to deploy. Fine. For such enabling and disabling, no need to deploy. Only when you make a change, you need to deploy. Now, my hours. Now go there. Go to this place. And then here, what happens? You go back and then see whether application developer is coming or not. Fine. Click on manage approvals. So the application developer has to come over here now. So application developer is coming. Click on submit. It will be getting approved. 1023 will be submitted for approval. It will be getting approved. I go there. And now what happens? The purchase order has to come automatically. But it will not come at all. Fine. Click on it now. So the purchase order will not come at all. Because the automation is not fully set now. But it's not pending approval. I go there. Click on it now. So click on back now. I go there. So wait for some time now. So it says what application developer has approved it. And the task is going to be completed. Fine. The process of getting completed now. Fine. Go there. Click on done now. And then if you come out and then see this now, we'll be having an approval. Fine. Click on done and then come out of it. And then here what happens? You can see this now. It's approved. Now what happens? The buyer has to pick it up and then perform the operation. Fine. Click on this now. 
right? Click on this 1023. Since we have the ASL entry available here, what happens? You don't see a small I icon will be coming. Buyer is now processing it. Like that, what happens? It will be coming. Click on that. It takes some time now. Right? Go there. If you click on 1023, again, what happens? A I icon will come over here, indicating that the buyer is now going to pick it up and then process this. Fine, but not it coming. There is no such a refresh button here. Right? Click on that now. So, I will again click on this 1023 and then wait for this one. <coughs> And then that I icon will be permanent because what happens is we are not specifying any buyer at all. You click on done now. So otherwise what happens is you'll be getting, what happens is a purchase order getting created automatically. So if you go to the purchasing and then go to the process requisition for 1023, if you go and make a query, you go there, click on it, and then we are going to make a query on the process requisitions page. Click on the process requisitions. And then here what happens, you go there, the requisition number is 1023 and then you tap and then remove the buyer over here now. And then click on search now. It will now say it failed automation. Fine. It failed automation. The requisition has a line failed automation because a buyer could not be determined. In CPA also similar thing is coming. But once when you provide the buyer, it cannot be still automated in CPA. That is a question which I told you. Fine. Here, the moment I put the buyer, what happens? You'll be able to automate it now. Fine. And then uh, this is now coming over here. Now. Fine. Go to the purchasing, go to the requisitions again and then query this uh, 1023. It takes some time. There also what happens, you'll be getting information that what happens, buyer has not taken up for processing, but buyer is not there actually. Okay, since buyer is not specified, it is not even taking up for automation actually. Yes, that's correct. Since we are not specified, buyer what happens, not taking up for automation. So we go there and then manually do it now, fine. Go there, go to the purchase orders. <coughs> go to the purchasing and then manually process it now. <coughs> Click on process, you go there, you go to the process requisition, and then you're doing it now. 1023, 1023, and then you tap. And then remove this now, fine, go there. And then click on search now. Now I will now select the line and then add to document builder. Add to document builder. And then go there. And then here, what happens? I will now go and do it now. So here, what happens? The source number can be given. Because BPA is a document where what happens? We can automatically create also. So what happens? For a CPA, we cannot give the source number at all. 3000, we cannot be given. But 3001 is coming automatically over here. Fine. Doesn't matter. Fine. Click on OK. And then we have to give the source number also. In a BPA combination. Go there and then click on what click on create now. So, what happens? It's now created and then let us know what then validate and then approve it. Now. So, we are going to validate and approve it now. So, the document purchase order was created now and click on what validate and approve. Right? So, good actions and then go to validate. No errors font. Click on submit. Fine. 2004 against 1023 will be created. <coughs> it will be submitted properly and then that will be getting updated on the main screen also. Click on it is not done. So it will not take some time. And then you go to the purchase requisition. What happens here? What happens against 1023? You can now see the order of 2004 coming up over here. Now. It takes some time. Thank you on it. So once the purchase order is approved, what happens? You can now see the order against over here. Now. So this is a manual way of creation. Now let me go and then populate my what happens to the buyer on the configure requisitioning business function. Here it will be coming. The order number will be coming. Thank you on it. So let me go there and then configure my requisitioning business function. Go there. And then here, what happens? I will now click on done now. And then come out of it now. And then here, what I'm going to do is I will now go to the configure requisitioning business function now. Fine, go there. It is configure fine percentage fine purchasing fine uh, procurement procurement fine B U S I percentage configure procurement business function is the one. So go to the configure procurement business function, and then here I will now choose my one. Fine. Since the scope selection is here, what happens? We do not have to go via projects actually. Fine, no need at all. Then you can even do it now. Fine, go there. J65. I'm putting it, and then click on OK. Here I'm going to put the default buyer now. So the buyer must be available here. If this is a buyer, what happens? It will be common for all the items. If you want to have an item specific buyer, if you specify in the item, that will now supersede the buyer over here. So this is, uh, has been added as an automation one. Here, this is required in EBS only for BMI and nothing else. Now. What is the EMP3? EMP3, comma, J65. Comma, J65. So that is the way I are it now. So last name, comma, first name. What is the, oh, sorry, EMP1. Sorry, EMP1, and then J65. So the one, so last name from our screen. Right? So if the buyer is there in item also, items buyer will now supersede the what happens your procurement configuration business functions buyer. If you want to have item specific buyer differently, you can even configure that. And if you are putting the buyer over there in the item, what happens? That will now supersede this one. Click on save and close. So <clears throat> this is how it is going to operate. Fine, go there. It's not done. Now what happens? We go there. We will now make a requisition. Right? Click on this. Now here you see at least what happens. We have already given what one zero two three. It is for how much quantities? What happens? 20 quantities. Fine. The purchase order number is also come. Fine. 
five orders. So purchase order number is also come. So no order. If you go for eighty quantities itself, you will not get a discount. You know, see, because cumulation price is enabled. Fine, you can't have now. So let me go for eighty one quantities. Fine. The hundred dollars will be coming. Fine. Go there, click on requisition line entry, and then this time what happens? I'm going to go for eighty one quantities. You can see. So go there. Item is what J sixty five, and then give it a tap. So item one. Click on OK. If you go and then put the quantity as 81, what happens? I must get the discount now. I am not getting the discount. Anybody say? Can anybody tell me why the discount is not coming? It has to come because cumulation price is enabled. But why the discount is not coming? The quantity is less than 100, no, no. No, I told you, na. You have already purchased in the previous requisition 20 quantities. So 81 plus 20 is 100. It is now crossing 100. You must get the discount because cumulation price is enabled now. It's cumulative. Why it's not still coming? Anybody? It has to come now. You must get that twenty-five percent discount. So it must be one point one two five or something like that. Something is missing in this place. What is missing? Location. Not location. Not location. Just have a look at it now. Have a keen look on it. One big thing is missing here now. Organization. No, organization will never come in the requisition form at all. Only location. The location. Agreement. Yes, exactly. Who is this? Hari Krish. Hari. Hari. Okay, fine. You have passed the test now, fine. You go there and then put it. Fine. You go there, 3001. Go there, make a change. The moment you make the reference, what happens? You'll be getting the discount. Got it now, fine. Dollars. So click on add to requisition, fine. So you have to uh, you have to make the what happens the reference over here. This will not come automatically because SR and ASR I am unable to create because this instance is not having a license for VCP now. So if you work on an instance which is having a VCP license, you can very well set up SR and ASR. So the moment you put the item, these things will come automatically over there. Now the 25 percent discount because the cumulation is there. Fine, click on active requisition now. Fine, it will be getting requested. And then here, what happens if you submit it? What happens? It will not say that what happens. He has now taken it for approval. So click on edit and uh, submit. And then go there. You are now getting the discounts. Fine, click on submit now. Now 1024 is now submitted for approval. And since we have given the buyer name, what happens? It will now take it up for processing. Now. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? 1024 is there. Fine, it is still not coming. Sometimes what happens? You have to go to what happens? Query example and then entering. No update. Blank one. I'm doing it. Oh God! Why it's not coming? One zero two four is not listed over here. Maybe I had to go to the purchasing and then come back to this page. I don't know the purchasing and then come back to the purchase requisition. One zero two four has to come. Why it's not coming here? Go there. One zero two four. Otherwise, I'm going to query now. Fine. It's not fine. Go there. One zero two four. I'm going to query. One zero two four. Then entering. So it will not show me now. Fine. It is now approved. If you click on it, what happens? An eye icon will be coming over here now. Fine. It says that buyer has now taken up for browsing now. Fine. Click on it. Click on this 1024. Here you see an eye icon is there. Fine. It says what? The buyer is now processing this requisition. So we have a default buyer available here. The line is being processed by the buyer. So afterwards, what happens? Once when you process it, the order is created. What happens? The eye icon will go over here now. It says the buyer has now taken up for browsing. So for automation purposes, we have to specify only the buyer. Either on the configure configure procurement options or otherwise on the item. Item level buyer will now supersede the uh, what happens the purchase options buyer. Remember, you are right, click on OK, click on done now. And then here, what happens if you go and then see this place, go to the purchasing and then go to the auto create area, it will not be visible at all because the buyer has already taken up a cross. If you go there, go to the process requisition. If you query 1024, what happens? It won't be visible at all. 1024, and give a tab. And then remove it and then click on search now. You won't be able to see this at all. On search, you won't be finding anything at all because it will be taken. Fine, if you go there, and then now what happens? You go there 1024. What happens? You can now see the purchase orders has got automatically created. Mandichi 2005 has come. He has already processed. So if you go there and then see the purchase order, and then what happens? This will be going as a release to the purchase order. Click on the manage agreements now. Fine, go there, go to the manage agreements, and then here what happens? You can now see against 3001, 2005 will be a release. 3001, and then you would have and then click on search now. You know, 2005 is a release. Fine, 2000, what happens there? 3001 is there. Fine, against which what happens? If you click on this release amount, what happens? It will say 2005 is the release. So, if I create anything which is now exceeding the 1000, what happens? It will now, we will now see what happens now. We will now create another because fine, 2005 is the one. Fine, this is the one. 2004 is not for this at all. I don't know why it's showing. This is the only one that's to show. It shows. Now, if I create anything which is exceeding 1000, what happens? It will now see what happens now. You go there. We will now go there and then create a requisition which now exceeds 1000. Now, click on the purchase requisition and then go there and then click on the requisition line entry <coughs> and then you know go on and check it. Right? J65 and then give it a tab. Item 1, I'm going to create it now. Right? Go there. I will now populate what 
your BPA of 3001 now. Fine. There is a high limit which you are going to test now. Fine. We are going to test the high limits now. Fine. Go there. I will not go for another day. 1200. So 1200, you are not getting the price now. Fine. What happens? But what happens? The cumulatively, what happens? It is now exceeding this now. Fine. It is now exceeding this. So you go there, click on add to add to reposition. Fine. Click on add to reposition now. What happens is uh, exceeding this uh, limits now. Fine. So the limit is what thousand dollars, and then uh, put together. What happens this, and then the previous one put together is now exceeding thousand. Fine. Click on exit and submit. You will not see what happens. So one zero two five is there. Fine. You submit it. What happens? It will be taken up for processing. So one zero two five is not taken up for processing now. One zero two five is not taken up for processing. And wait for some time now. Fine. Go there. One zero two five. One zero two five, and then entering, and then have a look at it now. So this is what is. We have a look at it now. So here, I'll go there. the next batch has to start at 8 then actually. <laughs> I'm not rushing for it actually. Okay. Go there. And then here what happens now that fine. it is not pending approval. Fine. Make a query, re query again. It will be approved now. It is approved. Fine. Click on it. We will not see the IA icon has to come. IA icon has to come. Fine. Buyer has taken as a browser. Fine. We will not see what happens to this. Now. The buyer is not processed either way. We go there and then have a look at it now. Fine. Click on done now. We will not see this now. We go there, go to the purchasing area and then query for this 1025 now. We go there, we click on it now. Fine, go there, click on the process requisition. Click on the process requisition. 1025. I'm going to have a look at it now. I go there. 1025 and then give a tab and then delete everything. And click on search now. And then nothing is available. It has been converted into a purchase order actually. Fine. It has been converted, but Adam is not getting approved now. Fine. So it doesn't stop in the auto grid area at all. Even though what happens is exceeding limits. So what happens if you go there and then see this now? Go to manage orders and then see this now. Manage orders and then say it. it has converted that into a PO, but because it is exceeding limits, what happens? It is not allowing your account. Go there. I will not say requisition is what? 1025. So I will not query on the requisition, click on the search now. So I am not putting the requisition and searching it. What happens? The order is created, but it will be in an incomplete state as well. And go there. Click on search now. So the order is created. Fine. 2006 is now created, but it is an incomplete state as well. Fine, the income ratio is because what happens? Approval cannot be done because what happens is exceeding. So go there and then click on actions and then go to edit now. Fine, and then go and then validate. It will not be getting validated at all. So the automation process has worked in creating the PO, but what happens? Approval is not taken. Fine, go to the validate. What happens? I know that. You can see the requisition and agreement numbers are coming. Your order will cause the total amount released against this agreement 3000 to exceed the amount limit. Now, amount limit is not editable at all here. Remember, the beautifully done. Only amount agreement can be edited. Now, tell me, you will now uh, increase the amount limit, or otherwise, you will ask the requester to reduce the quantity, which will do. If the requester reduces the quantity, also, what happens? It can be done easily. So, which one you will do now as a purchase officer? You will now increase the amount limit on the BPA or otherwise reduce the quantity in the requisition. Which one you will not recommend? Increase the amount limit. Exactly. Fine. Amount limit or, or, or amount agreed. In this case, what happens is amount limit. So you have to modify only the purchasing documents and not you should not touch the request at all. Fine. Beautifully done now. Fine. So this completes the uh, PR, BPA, SPO combination. Is it clear now? I am not doing it. Fine. So there are three lab exercises there. One is what? Uh, agreement level MR and then line level MR and then what happens this also I have not tested it but you can very well test it now. Fine. This also what happens you can increase the BPS 3001 you go on and improve it and then again come back to 2006 and then click on validate it will not have any errors. You will be doing the changes only on the purchasing side and not on the requisitioning side at all. Is it clear? Can you do this independently? A big process. Uh, we will try. With this is basically with this, what happens? We are not completing the activities on the purchase orders. Now we are going to begin receiving on Saturday. Now, right? the next class will be on Saturday. And so what happens? We'll be uh, starting receiving on Saturday. Because tomorrow day, okay. I'm not going on a premium pilgrimage. I don't want to be available in my class. So <clears throat> the next time will be class on Saturday. Clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Fine. Yeah. So bye for now, and then we'll meet on Saturday. Thank you, Nuna. Bye.